Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and today we're building a small RF amplifier. This RF, RF amplifier was suggested to me to help with aligning radios especially on test points where the signal is so small and you have to use times 10 on your scope probe. This should give enough amplification for it to be read on a frequency counter and hopefully aid the alignment of radios a little bit better so what we have here is a small RF amplifier unit bought off eBay for a couple of pounds we have a metal box it's a bit grubby inside but we'll clean that out so we're going to house all the bits inside this metal box hopefully if all my measurements were correct this board should fit in quite nicely which it does so it looks like a very simple board just to supply RF in RF out and a amplifier transistor So we'll start off by measuring out centre point on the ends of the boxes for some BNCs and we're going to use this step cutter to cut a hole in the side of this metal box. This nice step cutter makes short work of this. So we'll do the other side of the box. I'm not using a drill here, I'm just using a, a power driver. But it's a nice Bosch one that gives plenty of torque. So, more than enough for this job. Yeah, good enough for our BNC. So there's our BNCs mounted. Now we're going to drill another small hole for the DC barrel plug or socket. Again, our step cutter makes this nice and easy. As soon as it's got through initially, it's dead easy to do. Nah, that fits just nicely. So that's our PNCs and power. So the next thing we need to do is we need to take off these F SMA connectors. So I've already broken off the lugs on the bottom. Luckily they weren't soldered. So hopefully if we get a soldering iron and just melt up these three connections, these should drop off. My soldering iron did get stuck here due to the amount of heat that's been sunk away. But eventually it does give. And off it comes. I'll do the same to the other side. And a little bit of fresh solder. And off it pops. So 
coax I've cut up two small pieces of coax that we're going to use to connect the RF amplifier board to the BNC's I don't know whether just using normal wire would have mattered but we're going to use coax anyway So I've already pre-prepared these coaxes, as you can see. With equal length of the braid going to either side. And we'll solder those down. That should make a nice sturdy connection. So we'll solder up the other side. Again, plenty of heat is needed for this. There's our coax connected. So we've connected two more wires for the negative and positive supply. And we've shortened down the coax so it should just fit in the box. So I've made it so the board will be suspended in the box. Yeah, just fits nicely. So we're going to build a small power supply for this. So we're going to use an 8 volt regulator. So we're just testing the supply there. And we've connected an 8 volt regulator, a couple of capacitors. That's all it needs. This board will run from 6 to 12 volts. And the more voltage you give it, the more gain it gives. I think it's about 8 to 9 volts, it gives 30 dB. And up at 12, it gives 32 dB. So I think 8, eight volts is more than enough. Plus it means the supply will be nice and stable going into the board. So we're going to test it on a couple of test points on a sideband radio. So here we have a multi-mode 2 and we've got it connected to TP1 which should be the 10240 crystal. As you can see we're slightly down. So we'll give it a little bit of a, an adjustment and there we go, bang on 10240. So we're on TP4, just gonna have a look at some of the other frequencies. So 2330, bang on, as per the manual. This was after a little bit of adjustment. It does seem to make this, reading this, a lot more stable. And if we take off the preamplifier and go straight into the frequency counter, you can see it's all over the place. So I think it is working. Another one that's always a bit tricky to read. Works a treat there. So, is this worthwhile? Yeah, maybe. Maybe it'll help in alignment of radios where the signal you're trying to read on the counter is a little bit too low for it to get a lock on it. So for a few pounds, I think it's a win. So anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.